Hey guys, it's the hopeful artist Kathy, and I decided to do a painting of Santa since Christmas is just around the corner with my Arteza gouache paints. These paints are amazing. I like Arteza products or Arteza, however you pronounce it. So I already swatched one page uh, earlier, and then I decided to start filming uh, when I was finishing up. And uh, these paints are nice and buttery. The color palette is amazing. The only problem I have with this set is they gave me like 12 pearl or metallic paints, which I don't use. So I didn't even bother swatching those. I really wish they were just giving me different colors, like maybe more grays or browns or something. I'm really not into metallics or pearls. I like when those are in a separate set that you can buy separately if you use those but they included them in this so out of the 60 paints 12 were of that so i'm only using 48 which is fine it's still a really large color palette um it's amazing lots of blues and greens and, and reds and pinks and great colors and they go on really really nicely so i i'm really happy with the set very high quality and very affordable. I'll put the link in the description. A very affordable set. Arteza is really great. They have affordable art products that are really nice quality. The great thing about gouache, what I really like about it, it's becoming my favorite medium, is it's kind of a hybrid of watercolors and acrylics. You kind of get the best of both. Um, you can add a lot of water and dilute it and make it look really translucent and get a watercolor look. Or you can put it on right out of the tube or mix it with other colors and it can be extremely opaque and look like an acrylic. The only difference between this and an acrylic is um, gouache dries very matte and extremely quickly. Acrylic paints dry quickly, but these dry more quickly. I mean, within the, I mean, you could be painting and you could see it starting to dry right in front of your eyes. So if you want to do any mixing of colors, you really need to do it on the palette, but it's great for layering because you don't have to wait long to add layers. So this is the color palette I chose. For my santa claus painting i'm doing reds and greens i have some colors for his skin tone and blue for the background i decided to start with the background first i just wanted to get that out of the way and then whenever i do a figure i always do the face usually in the beginning because if the face looks good then I decide, okay, I'm going to continue and move on. Because when you're doing a character, everything else could look great. But if your face doesn't come out right, it's going to mess everything up. That's really the heart of the character and, and getting the expression right. So I do do the background first because I really just wanted to see what this blue looked like. And I'm working in a small area. So I thought, you know, let me just get that done. And then I'm going to move on to his face. And, uh, and I'm happy with that. So And then I'll move on to other things. I mix this beigey color, I can't remember the exact name of it, with some white and then now I'm going to add a little bit of the light light pink to do his cheeks, to give him his rosy cheeks. And I wanted those cheeks to blend in with that face color so I did that very very quickly because like I said it dries super fast. Now if you want to tone down a color, the best way to do it is to add the complementary color. So I took the dark red and added a little bit of green and you can see you get a really, really nice darker shade of red and that's a great way to darken a color or tone it down. It's really good for shadows and stuff. But I wanted the color of the coat to be, you know, where his arm is a little darker. And I used three different shades of red here, added some white, added some green in some areas and uh, I, I think it came out really well. I was, re I was really happy with it. And 
then I just got this set of paint brushes. I'll put the link in the description. I used them for my last video with the watercolor and they're really amazing brushes. Um, they come in a lot of different sizes. There's some smaller ones for detail work and I really love these brushes. In fact, I got rid of a bunch of my old ones and I'm just using this set right now and I'm just super happy with it. I saw it on another video with another artist. I can't remember who, I'm really sorry, but I will put the link in the description. I got them on Amazon, they're very affordable. And here I'm doing the scarf in green. I was going to do pink because there's an online challenge right now, red and pink, and I did a digital version of this on Instagram, but I thought, you know, for the painting, I'll go more traditional and do the red and green because I really do like the traditional Christmas colors. So here I use the Viridian Green, which is a nice blue green. And I think I do add a little bit of red into that to darken it up a bit when I get into the shading areas that I wanted to do. I like with the gouache, um, I like thinning it out and making it look transparent in some instances. But like for the white parts, like his beard and the, the sleeves, the muffs of the sleeves, I like to really th make it thick and pack it on so there's some texture to that. And you can do that with gouache. If you use it like straight out of the tube, you can put it on there and you can see there's some texture to that. And I, I just think it's fantastic. And when it dries, it maintains that look. And it's really, really great. And I, I really love that about gouache. It's a fantastic medium, very easy to work with, extremely forgiving, easy to handle and control and I think it's fantastic. It's extremely versatile. So I decided to give him really long hair and then it kind of just blended into the background. So I made his hair super long. I just thought, you know, Santa's old, he never cuts his hair. So we'll make him have this gorgeous, uh, long white flowy hair. Cause I do love white hair on people. I think it's so cool. So I decided I'll just go with that and, and make his hair super long. A lot of decisions I make when I'm painting happen while, while I'm painting. And I think that happens with a lot of artists. They kind of have an idea and then they go with it and it's not always so mapped out and, and what you envision can change. Sometimes you can paint exactly what you envision and sometimes you don't. So with the lights here, I wanted to color block them out a little bit with white because I was planning on painting them a different color. And I thought, well, if I put the white down and it dries, then I can color over that. It'll show up better. And then I make some dots here. And this is where I start doing things that I'm not happy with. I go a little crazy with the dots, which happens with me. I'm doing like snow and I should have stopped right there. I just kept dotting. I'm gonna start using paint pens and that seems to be when I run into trouble whenever I do art. A lot of artists use paint pens and they're really good at it. I just don't have any luck with them. The paint pens I have, a lot of times they don't work properly. This silver one is horrible. And uh, I really wanted these lights to look shiny and I wanted to try to stay within the color scheme. I didn't wanna put in purple or anything. And this one is just not happening for me and it was very frustrating. Plus the paper's kind of rough. So I brought in a, a Yono a grayish silver and I wasn't terribly happy with it. It wasn't super shiny. So at this point I'm like, ugh, okay. You know, one little thing for me can just ruin it, but I, I just continued to go with it and I'm gonna mess up even more in my own opinion and this is where I messed up. I wanted to outline this in black. I know I, uh, I do that a lot and I don't mind that look but this pen was too thick for what I wanted. It comes out okay, I'm not totally unhappy with it. I wish I would used a thinner pen because now that's like really stands out and I'm just not totally pleased. So I plan on doing this again with a thinner liner or no liner at all. Tell me what you guys think. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.